Truman Talks Live on Great Day Live is sponsored by the Carl Truman Law Office. The website ssa.gov says a 20-year-old worker has a 3 in 10 chance of becoming disabled before reaching retirement age. So it can happen to anybody. So what do you do if you become disabled and are unable to work? Among the many federal programs, the largest is, of course, Social Security Disability. And attorney Carl Truman is here with us today to talk more about that. Hello. Good morning. Yes, Social Security is one of those things, you know, you get your pay check stub and there's a deduction for Social Security. A lot of people just all, all they think about is Social Security retirement. Well, when I turn 65 or 67 or whatever, but uh, that also includes a disability benefit if you are unable to work. Unable under under what window are we talking about? Uh, physically only? Emotionally? What are we talking about? Well, it could be a combination of things. You know, if you're physically, you become injured. I mean, we, we see a lot of people who come to us for workers' compensation, get hurt on the job, and then they become totally disabled, and then we help them apply for di a Social Security disability benefit. So it can be uh, physical, could be uh, psychological, uh, different type of psychological injuries. So, uh, you know, if you're medically unable to work, and it has to be unable to to work because sometimes clients will come and say, well, I can't do my old job and I can't find a job, so I want to be get on disability. And it just, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You have to be able to show you can't do any type of gainful employment. Yeah, there are certain stipulations to it. Right. And you help people apply for it, so do you care to walk us through the steps, the process sure. to apply for Social Security disability? Well, the first, thing, the first thing is you have to apply, and a lot of people can apply online. We do help put people with initial applications also. And, you know, they're going to, Social Security is going to want to know your past 15 years of work history and all of your medical providers, all of your doctors and hospitals, all the medicine you take. So the more you can get that information together before you apply, the easier the process is going to be to actually fill out the forms because that, you know, they want all that information. Now in your paycheck, you can also have withdrawal for um, long-term disability, short-term disability. Is that insurance and that's not government? Is that, those are payments in case Right, the, for short-term disability, long, those are typically private plans or company-sponsored plans. That's not through the government. Okay. Uh, the Social Security doesn't have a distinction between short-term and long-term. Actually, to be eligible, you have to show that you cannot work for at least 12 months. So if you're off work for six months and then can go back to some type of job, then you're not eligible. It's interesting because with Social Security Disability, you say 80% of people that apply for it are denied. Yes. Eight out of ten people, that's a that, lot. That so is a lot. What do you, where do you go from there? What do you do if you're denied? Well, after the initial application, then we file for what's called a request for reconsideration. And most of those get denied, too, I mean, because you're going back and asking the same person to same change their mind. And so sometimes, you know, sometimes they do get approved at that level, but still most of them do get uh, denied on the request for reconsideration level. And then after that, if it's denied again, then we request a hearing with an administrative law judge. And that's where we actually go before a judge in a hearing room and the client testifies. And then, you know, all along, of course, you know, one of our jobs is to make sure that we present the best medical evidence and medical proof to support the claim. And you also have to illustrate again that you can't have work for 12 months? It's a minimum. You have to show that you cannot do any type of, so it's called the, the, term they use is substantial gainful activity. Basically, you can't work any type of job, even if it's a sit-down, sedentary job. All right, Carl, we appreciate your time again. As Great. always, good to All see right. you. Thank you. Carl Truman Talks Law every Wednesday here on Great Day Live. You can reach Attorney Carl Truman at 222-2222 or online at trumanlaw.com.